Cheers. You're not videotaping me. That's against the law. Is it? I had to put a shim inside one of the pedestals to kind of level things up. So I put um, like a 3 8 shim in there and then it was off the other way and I realized it was sitting, I had to chisel it down. Anyway, it's perfectly flat now. It's like, an, perfectly flat. It's like an eighth inch from side to side. So on a six by six table, I'll take an eighth inch all day long. So this is the last time hopefully I'll have to take it apart. I gotta get the top in here, make sure all the bolt holes line up. Um, it's ready for finish. Well, for the 10th time, I've got to take this thing apart. I just can't get it level. I have a one spacer in one side. I got my laser level out, was checking everything. I think the spacer's, I don't think it needs to be in there. And you can't just test it. You got, it's all gonna come apart. My camera was on the customers just came to look at the table and they were completely blown away like the most grateful words they say to a builder is like how good it looks and like it's totally like deep and cliche but like you put everything you have into a project like this project in particular like everything I had I put into it there was as you saw from today like mess ups and not mess ups but like things were wrong and you had to fix them and you had to take a table apart a thousand times. But for every second you deal with that, their reaction makes up at least an hour. Um, they were so freaking happy and that, and for me to put that much effort into something and get a reward out of, you know, I haven't been used to that for several years. Um, you put effort into something and I just wasn't getting anything back. Like, oh, big deal, you know, but to finally have that and know that it's mine and it's my name on it. Awesome, I'm the luckiest man in the world. flag projects are gonna be the death of me. Measure twice, cut once. Well, I hate that saying, but I just cut the back panels an inch too short. So I had to glue them back together. Run through the sander. I gotta be done for the day, I'm beat. All right, so tomorrow, had a comp company get a hold of me. Fuck it out. <laughs> Last week, maybe two weeks ago, um, they build or they sell uh, dog kennels. 
like wooden dog kennels. We've seen them. We've all seen them. They're made out of wood. They've got like rebar for the, they're wooden dog crates basically to look nice inside of a house. Well, whoever was building them for them couldn't build them anymore. So he's looking for a guy and it seems like a good idea when someone contacts you about that, but you gotta understand that they're reselling. They're, reselling. they're not purchasing for their house. Um, so they can't spend the money that you could sell retail. And I've dealt with a couple wholesale people before and it just doesn't interest me. Um, it's just, it seems like as much as I've grown on social media and as good as I can sell stuff, um, I often think, well, I could just make them to sell them instead. And I told that guy this, I said, listen, I said, I kind of need to know your margins. I said, I'll never take your idea, but at the same time, if I'm going to be putting this much effort into it, when I could be selling them myself, I'm like, that's kind of the, where I'm at. So we talked about the numbers. He said where he needed to be or where he was. And I said, well, that, that's not going to be worth my time. And I gave him the number I would need to build one, which is still significantly lower. Um, but I did give him a minimum order. You know, you have to order so many at a time. You have to order at least three, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, tomorrow, that's where I'm going. They're, they're setting up at a show down by St. Louis, so I'm gonna j run down there. He wants to meet me. Um, I'm gonna run down there and see what he's got, see his product. I think we're pretty much locked in. It's, it's something essentially, once I build a few, I can have the jig set up and, and knock them out in a half a day, I'm hoping, unfinished. Uh, we'll see. I'm not overly excited about it. But at the same time, you never know what it's gonna turn into, so I'm willing to work with them a while and uh, see where it goes. So I'm done here for the day. I'm pooped, my legs are tired. I still wanna work, my mind's still sharp, but I'm just, I'm beat. And after that flag mistake, I was planning on staying here to finish those flags, but I'm an idiot. All right, let's shut it up for the weekend.